example, ladies and gentlemen, this is asking a simplifying problem. So if you guys remember my operation for you, basically we need to identify, um, when doing these we want to make sure that we can simplify, Christiana, um, the factors. So basically we want to factor the numerator and factor the denominator. That is going to be true for all of these problems. So if you guys take a look at this, I have x squared plus 3x minus 18. We need to go ahead and factor. So again, this is a trinomial where a is equal to 1. So I basically need to find what two numbers multiply to give you negative 18 and add to give you 3, positive 3. Well, I can determine that that factored form is going to be this. Because I can verify 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. 6 plus negative 3 is positive 3. Then over, I have x squared minus 36. That's a difference of two squares. Would be x minus 6, x plus 6. Then we can apply the division property whenever we have a number or a term or an expression that's exactly the same in the numerator and the denominator. It divides to 1. Remember that to be exactly the same. You can't like divide x plus 6 and x minus 6. They have to be exactly the same. So therefore, your final simplified answer is x minus 3 divided by x minus 6. Right? Now, if you guys remember last class period, let's just pretend, let's talk about this um, real quick. 